I'm John. And I'm Ted. And we sell gay games. Kind of, sort of. Sometimes. Yeah. We're back with Framblem. Three houses. It's... <sighs> this is this is honestly my current favorite Switch game. Yeah. Like, bar none, period. Like, I love it. Um, that being said, I've had a shit ton of fun playing Fates with you. Yeah, Fate, um, Extella Link. Extella Link, yeah. It's... It's legitimately super fun. Like I, I, and granted, like I think that's partially because it's a warriors game, and I just fucking adore warriors games. But so yeah, uh, it's Rhea. She's talking again. I, I have made my opinion on her very clear in previous and episodes. That and we've both already kind of seen a bunch of this. Yeah. Oh um, no, where'd I put my drink? Eh, whatever. I'll find it later. Um. I, um, I also, like I mentioned in previous episodes, like, I like female Byleth's design more in terms of her facial expressions, because the male protagonist version of Byleth looks like a voodoo doll. Like, he is really, like, excuse my language, but he is really severe case of resting bitch face. Well, it's, 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 it's even... Has it to a degree, but not as much. <laughs> well, and so male Byleth has resting bitch face. Let's let's call it that. But it's more like resting zombie. I have no expression face. Whereas like well, he was stillborn and is only alive by virtue of having a crust stone and place of yeah. heart. But um, female Byleth at least has some expressionism. Mm -hmm. Like she actually expresses herself a little bit. Like, not nearly as much as she could. Okay, so my favorite part... My favorite part about the exploration part is... The minimap. Excuse me. But, uh, the minimap, because of how ridiculous one version of it is. Yeah. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Hi, Edelgard. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I... I never properly introduced... I have not seen her so after you beat the game yeah you get access to um like alternate looks for the characters Hairstyles, yeah um only for the lords only for the lords but like i hope edelgard's is good i showed it to you i thought it's like the side oh, tail oh yeah you did it's so much better than her princess, princess leia bonds. cinnabons her cinnabons Bernie, she's the best, and I love her hair before the time skip. It's so much better than after the time skip. She seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But she's so cute. Sure she finds her way to class. President, future President Bernie Sanders. Yes, for, uh, future President Bernie Sanders, or uh, Democratic National Convention candidate Bernie Sanders, because I don't know if he's gonna win. I hope I. Let's not talk about politics. That's not, yeah. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, there's, mm -hmm. like, there's people I agree with and people I don't, but let's not talk about it. You must be the new professor. The best man. As for me, oh, the sweetest the boy. Playable. The More sweetest boy. Um. And goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah, and by that, I mean, to this, uh, uh, Shut up, Alm. <laughs> Thursday. Yeah. It, it is Alm's voice actor, I believe, is the gatekeeper. I don't know. I don't know who that voice actor I can't is. Remember. I can't remember their name. But they're they're really wonderful, and that. that character is absolutely wonderful. Throughout the entire, throughout the entire game, he is just like the ultimate sweetheart. He is kind of yeah. He is, he is a pure cinnamon roll who deserves everything in this world. Um, His descendant, not so much. Eh, yeah. If Walhart is actually his descendant, and not just calling calling stuff out. Hi, Dimitri. Hi, Leon Kennedy. Excuse me, that's your actual name. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. Who voices him? I believe it's Chris Hackney. Chris Hackney. Okay. He's, he's ha he has a very particular tone and yeah. that I really enjoy, but at the same time, like... I still have much to learn. He did a ver th that voice actor did a very good job of being like, I am the honorable of the three houses. Like... It's it's how he, it's how he like, mm -hmm. enunciates certain words where I'm like, ooh yeah, this guy's supposed to be a king. Um, mm -hmm. He's a good boy. 
Please, and he's got the royal line it's lineage ability, which I mean, is like the best ability in the game. Well, that, that all the main characters have it. Yeah. Um. Well, a variation of it, I suppose. Uh, look at that bashful pose. <laughs> he's so embarrassed that um, you're looking at him. What was I gonna say? He's the only lord in this game that has any blue on him. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Like none of the other lords, well, except kind of your character in a way, which only lasts until you get the different hair. Yeah. Because um, you have that stupid little. Well, also you have that stupid little dagger. Yeah, and that stays with you in your end of the end of the enlightened one class. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh let's really quick let's um let's guess at what their master class is supposed to be. Or at the very least, their advanced class. The one with, that would be their unique, um, their unique uh, time outfit. skips, right? Yeah. Would be, character so would be. to do Fortress Knight, period. It would probably be like the Fortress Knight or whatever its um, advancement was. Yeah. Yeah, Felix. Um, Swordmaster. Swordmaster. Ash. I don't even know what class Ash is. I don't either. I think he's an archer, so I'm gonna say Bow Knight. Well, none of them are in their, um, master class. Oh, right, they're advanced classes. Excuse, so, excuse me. Um, sniper, I think? I'd, I'd say sniper. Um, Him would be, he would be paladin, probably. Sylvain pal paladin. Paladin, uh, wait, is heavy knight a master class? Um, no, um, the, the arm, the, like, I can't remember what it is, like, the armored knight or great knight is. Yeah. But paladin is, is an, is an advanced class. Okay, Mercedes, bishop. Bishop, yeah. Um, and that... I don't know. I actually. don't actually know what her class is. I don't know anything. Yeah. Um, but they're o she's always talking about magic with Mercedes, so I'm gonna say warlock or Grammarie. Okay. And Ingrid, um, Pegasus Knight. Pegasus Knight. It's not an advanced class, but it's what she's stuck in until well until the master classes become yeah. available. So t she's ma uh, she's quote unquote um. Pegasus Knight or Falcon Knight. Whichever yeah. one ends up looking the best. Yeah. And by the way, I apologize if my uh, plosives are really bad. Like, because uh, I, I don't have a pop filter on right now. It just broke yesterday, yeah. Yeah, it literally broke while we were recording yesterday. And I've got two on order, and they're supposed to be arriving tomorrow, but for this, like stretch of, of shot, what 16 episodes my plosives might be pretty bad by far the strongest unit in the game early and just because of his ability unit deals five extra damage when no battalion is assigned or when the battalion endurance is zero like it is kind of ridiculous early it is on. so overpowered early on we have to make him um the master class the um the, the, uh, the Grand Wizard, whatever the fuck it's called. Not Grand Wizard, that's not at all. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, it, it is the, um, what is it called? Mortal Savant. Mortal Savant, yes. There we go. We gotta make him a Mortal Savant. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar. He uses Lord axes and bow? Yeah. Because I know he is a weak, he is a blue blossom, so he's like a budding talent and lances, because he wants to be like a knight, and what's more knightly than a knight on horseback? Yeah. Kind of thing. I'm starting to back out. He might be, he might be the Great Knight Ash. Oh yeah, he's he's a because he, I know he has a, a hidden talent for um, reason as well. Yeah, because um, I don't like Sylvain. <laughs> on my current playthrough, I have recruited almost everyone except for the people that cannot be that are house exclusives. Yeah, that's I'm impressed um, by that. His thing is interesting because. He actually doesn't care for the women he flirts with. Yeah, it's stupid. I don't like his character. I don't like flirty guys, except for Zelos Wilder from Tales of Symphonia. The best boy. Best boy. Hashtag best boy. He and Lloyd deserve a long, happy life together. And they need to be married. Um, live to serve when healing an ally with white magic is, unit recovers. Oh my it's the best, god! It's the best ability for a healer to have. That is redonkulous. It makes her the best healer Bar none. She has so many weaknesses, though. Yeah. In her, like, learning capabilities. Mm -hmm. Wow. Use Rally to grant now, strength plus four. And one of the things is, your brother told me to get her 
focus on authority with her. Focus on authority? Because she get her S rank and authority get I think gets her rally movement. Wow, okay, yeah. That's really good. And Ingrad. Who's kind of like the Saber XP of this. And yeah. by Saber, I mean Arturia Pendragon. Yeah, she really does. Not kind Nero, of my waifu. Um, and her personality and love of food and... <laughs> yeah, she's probably going to be our designated flyer. Yeah. Just period. Flyers are ridiculous. Flyers are broken in this game. Because there's so... Like, okay, I don't know about the Golden Deer playthrough, but the Black Eagles playthrough... None of them would naturally be fit for it. Well, none of them would naturally be fit for it, and a lot of combat encounters didn't have archers on the opposing side. Yeah. Like, I could have broken the game if I actually just was like, I'm gonna make everybody a flyer. But I didn't, because yeah. I didn't like flyers. Um, as a, as, and as because a, of that inherent bow weakness, mm -hmm. specifically. Um, I do believe S rank and flying gets you in, uh, uh, something that nullifies the weakness, but it does take up an ability slot. So that guy who's talking right now, Hubert, is the strongest character outside of Edelgard on the Black Eagles run. Well, for you, so far. Yeah. Like, no, for in on, like, a Black Eagles run-through. Like, if, if you're just using the units you get in the Black Eagles, which you shouldn't do, mind you, but if you're just Especially using the Black... Especially if you're classic and you need replacements. <laughs> Sorry, you just, like, turned in the camera and made me laugh. Um, yeah. uh... What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Hubert was a god and literally was invaluable against monster units because one um the the gambit I gave him uh allowed him to basically blast an entire like six square area with magic. Uh, Bernie, I love you. You're so cute. I okay. Let's talk. Let's talk waifu design really quick. So the reason I love Bernadetta specifically is she has red ring eyes. Yeah. And it's not makeup. Mm -hmm. It looks like either cry marks or like tired marks. Yeah. And I have the same thing for Marianne on the golden the really, deer route she, like Marianne tired looks eyes really really tired like it's ti it's something about tired eyes i love tired eyes on like anime characters specifically um I'm so like i'm not gonna talk to everyone i'm gonna probably skip yeah we can we could skip over like a lot of like, this extra shit like blue well, lions we'll be talking to why? Because that's who we're gonna be going with. To I told oh, right. the Black Eagles for some reason. I don't know why. I apologize. For you were just time. you were just in the zone. Yeah. You were you were in the zone that you go into by accident because you've played this game already, and yeah. you and I you and I are people who specifically hunt down all of the lore we can. Yeah. Excuse me as I turn my mic a little bit. Um, but yeah, like. Because I did the exact same thing. I talked to every single person except, like, the last couple of missions because I was just like, I need to get this game done. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, not in the way... Not in a way, like, I wasn't enjoying it anymore. But, like, I had put probably overall close to 70 hours into this game on my first playthrough. Yeah. That's about what I had. And about... Half of that was talking to people, half of that was combat, and the half that was combat, and half of the combat time was me just grinding units so I could run to, like, I could hit the mission and just steamroll the mission. I don't think I was that, uh... I'm... I'm... Grindy. I, I get grindy through. in games like this, specifically, because, like... I hate rescued his highness. Words cannot express. I hate it when I go into an encounter like this game and just get hasten to repay this debt. And then I get frustrated because like the enemies are on par with me. Yeah. <laughs> so like I purposefully grind my units as hard as I can to break the game early. Now I'm gonna let Claude smack talk Hilda because it's fun. Like he just roasts everyone. Claude is the best. He is the best boy. Joe Zija, we love you. 
I'm like still salty you can't romance him as a male protagonist. Yeah, Josija, why can't we romance you? I don't think you had a say in that, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might have. He's Josija, the most, like, goofy meme lord who's also a voice actor ever, except for maybe Sam Regal, who is just the king of meme lords. <laughs> Oh my god, so like, I'm I'm playing on the Golden Deer route right now, yeah. on my personal game, and I'm already, I'm already realizing that Hilda is broken as fuck. Same with Lysithia, of course. I haven't used Lysithia yet, because we just, <sighs> did, the, we just okay. did the practice round, that was all we did, and I learned um, in the Black Eagles run-through that you really don't want to use one of the magic users for that mission. Yeah. Because they have two spells and then they're done. <laughs> that is true. So, I specifically was like, uh, I'm just gonna break the game. Yeah. We're actually getting, we're, we're getting close on time, so, like, we may choose our house and then call it a next episode. Yeah. I don't like Sedith. Like, I know he grows on you if you actually do the supports, but and I don't like him. He's also, um, I think he's also basically the stand-in lord for the church route. Because mm. Rhea is still not playable. Okay, that makes sense. I don't... I have so many problems with the church in this game, specifically. Like, I don't give a damn about any of that. You also don't care for church in real life, though. Yeah, I'm... Like we, there's two things you don't talk about on YouTube, Ted. I know. Unless, unless you're, uh, it's purposely looking for controversy. Well, no, <laughs> unless you're, um, Hugo and Jake. Have you heard of Hugo and Jake? No. It is a. So it used to be called the Bible Reloaded. And it is literally a, uh, it is literally a channel where they read the Bible and they talk about how fucking ridiculous it is because they're both atheists. God has a ridiculously high kill count. <laughs> like that's one of the things they talk about but um it's really funny because uh so jake has a twitch channel called i think papa bird jake on twitch check him out because he's actually hilarious okay um but the reason the reason i bring him up is because uh he does twitch streams where he invites the community to try and argue him on points and he's like a professional debater like that's like one of the things he's really good at is debating people on topics and like people come in and be like um what was the stupid one that skimmy was telling me about skimmy's my girlfriend um and there's a story behind her name but i don't want to get into it right now because we're running close on time but there was um there was this guy who was literally arguing him on gay on gay and how like if you're gay you immediately go to hell and um jake turned around and went okay so let's just let's let's pose a hypothetical really quick you die and you go to heaven but your friend was gay so he goes to hell so is that heaven <laughs> and the guy was like well god will provide you with hope and grace and love and he's like well then what's the point of free will and like <laughs> he destroyed this guy like every every argument this guy came at him with he had an answer for and he had an answer in like the most calm way that being said, there was an occasion where he was like, dude, fuck you. <laughs> but like, in a, again, it wasn't an aggressive way. He was literally like, Ugh, fuck you. This is, you're like, literally, you're not even listening. You're not listening to what I'm telling you. By the way, who are we going to date as a uh, female Byleth? Dimitri. Why we, why we got to go with the Lord? We don't have to go with the Lord. We could go with one of the other hot boys. God, I never thought I would say that. We're oh, those are words I never thought would come out of my mouth. Um, Fine, I'll do the horizontal hanky panky with Sylvain. No, I don't like Sylvain. <laughs> Sylvain's the worst. We gotta, we gotta fall in love, man. You know who we should get. You know who we should get? We were sh we should recruit the strongest boy from the Golden Deer and date him. <laughs> Raphael? Yeah, he's the best. 
Oh, that's tempting. He's also the cutest. Like, n not even not even because he's, like, big and buff and strong and stuff, but because, like, he's literally, like, the sweetest character. Like, every every support outside of, like, the really sad ones of his are, like, he's, man, I just want to be strong because I want to protect my friends. And it's like, Raphael. Raphael, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a he's a, he's a good bean. There are a lot of other guy characters in this game though that are like absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. Not a lot though. Like a lot of them have similar personalities. That being said, I didn't do a lot of supports, which is why I didn't get a lot of recruitment in my first one. Huh? Or we could be totally gay and go after one of the girls. Ah. Uh, Let's see, so Mercedes, I think, is the op would be the option. Mercedes is the option if we don't recruit the other ones. Which is Dorothea, because the other ones are Edelgard, so Rhea, and Sothis. Okay. And you can't I mean, let's go, for, the... let's go for Sothis. How the fuck do you do it? No. I don't want to Guys, my Sothis. wife is so deep inside me, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> my wife is so deep inside me, she's actually legitimately right next to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, her her body is kind of my heart because that's basically what a crest stone is. Yeah, is like the so coagulated sure. blood or something of a god of god. Yeah, so gross. You'll find more out about that in the Golden Deer route. Yeah. Also, why why Saros and by extension Ray make him run? Absolutely. Yay! Insane. You will look find at her go. Out. It's so cute. I love that they do hoppies. They when you press B, they're so hoppy. Kangaroo goes bouncy, bounce, bounce. But I think <laughs> we're gonna end this one here because we're at the 21 minute mark. So thanks guys for joining us. Uh, we will start up the next episode with whatever the hell comes next. All right. Bye. Bye.